Hey guys, it's Melanie from Vintage Makeovers with Melanie. <laughs> How y'all doing? Thank you, honey. All right, so here we are. Uh, my name is Melanie. This is my second show, so I'm on every other Saturday from uh, at seven o'clock my time. So six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Okay. Um, hi, Cassie. So I'm super happy to have you guys here. I'm gonna go ahead and paint. Okay, so I did a little practice run over here. Everything's looking pretty cool, so I'm gonna do that. Thanks guys for coming. Um, I, again, my name is Melanie. I have a store in Albuquerque, New Mexico called Windmill Vintage Designs, and that is where I sell my DOI paint, painted furniture, IOD um, products, and a bunch more stuff. So all kinds of cool vintage finds. We really pride ourselves in trying to find true vintage and give it back. So not a lot of um, market bought stuff, you know? So that is that. Um, I also want to give a little shout out to my YouTube channel. If you guys wanna see other tutorials from me, please go over to Vintage Makeovers with Melanie on YouTube. And that would be awesome. So I appreciate it. Hi, okay, so let's go ahead and swipe that off and we're just going to get started. Happy Saturday, yay. All right, so today we're gonna to be using DIYs. We're using beadboard, um, sea glass, hay sailor, and apothecary, okay? And I'm going to be using a bottle, a misting bottle with water and this beautiful paintbrush. All right, so here we go. Um, all right, any questions? Y'all good? I hope so. All right, here we go. Let me put this down. So I don't know if we'll get this whole thing done, but we might because I'm kind of fast. And anyways, oh, but I closed my can too good. Hold on. All right. So I did actually close them this time. What? What? All right. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some beadboard. So we're gonna kind of put on a rough crumb coat of beadboard. Um, definitely not gonna be solid, but it's gonna be kind of a base for us. Ah, thanks, Beth. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we've got this French provincial and. Somebody took the liberty of doing a little bit of work to it um, for me. So there's kind of like a bondo and they actually sanded the sides and um, things like that. So, you know, hey, that's the way I bought it. Also gonna give me a little bit of texture because I did not sand it all smooth. I just am going with the flow here. So we're gonna work, I think let's work in sections. So. Let's do like two drawers at a time. I'm thinking that's probably gonna be good. And go back over this way. So being that it's a little taller, I guess I'm gonna be going up and down quite a bit, but y'all don't mind, right? Hope not. Hi, Janet. All right, guys, thank you guys for coming. I really do appreciate that. A lot of curvies on this one. This is actually a really nice um, version. You know, they made a lot of repops of these that weren't quite so um, well made. This one is actually very well made. So I'm very happy to have that. So let's go ahead, go here. So again, we're just getting on a nice base coat. And we're gonna go ahead and stop. The cool thing about DIY paint is that it you can reactivate it with water. Um, a lot of the paints you can, but this one just feels a little different uh, when you reactivate it. Actually, like truly reactivates instead of just uh, blending. I don't know, for lack of a better word. So I'll have that here a bit more. And there we go. We're gonna put our beadboard aside. Any questions? Just kidding. Hi, Stacy. 
All right, okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and dip into our apothecary. So this is a light, very light, greeny kind of color. And what do we do with our water? We need our water. Where did I put my water bottle? Oh, this big one right in front of me. I found it! <laughs> okay. Got him, guys. Hi, <laughs> guys. All right, so apothecary, let's go ahead. I'm not even gonna put any water yet because it's still a little wet. Let's go ahead and just start blending that. And we just wanna try to remind ourselves <laughs> to use a light stroke um, instead of being all crazy. So let's kinda go down here. So again, we're just getting these first colors on here. We're gonna play and um, see what else we can do here in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave those there for a minute. Hi, Carol. Um, that white is beadboard. Beadboard. All right, so we're just kind of, it's pretty wet, so I'm going to just let it dry for just a second. Like literally a second. Because, oh, all right, here we go. So let's go ahead, we're going to dip into our sea glass. So this is sea glass. First coat was beadboard, second one was apothecary, and now we're dipping into sea glass. I got a kind of a lot. So I might have a lot of blending to do here because I'm not, actually I'm gonna wipe some off. I don't really need that much. I'm gonna give it a little spritz and I'm gonna start blending in some sea glass. So it's kind of a totally different tone, but it'll be good. Let's go up here. We're just kind of sporadically placing it Anything is so fun about paint is anything that you do can be undone. It can all be covered or if you like it, you can keep it. I mean, it's all very, very much uh, at what your eye is liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Hey Sailor and I think we're gonna, gonna go back and forth a little bit. So let's get some Hey Sailor. Not too, too much. Wiping it back off. Yes, yeah, sea glass is awesome. I love all the DIY colors. Rumor has it we're getting some new ones. I'm pretty excited about that. So this dresser is very, it's got a lot of curves, very curvy. So as you're painting, you're gonna get just some nat natural texture just with that because your brush is going bump, 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 bump on your bumps. And if we do a little bit of cross hatching, hashtagging, we can get some other lips. So like over here, I'm super digging that, I'm gonna leave it, okay? But let's work a little bit more over here. So I'm gonna go back into my hay sailor, and get this a spritz, and let's work it this way. More. So lines are good where you want your lines to be, but if you're not feeling cool with those, then you can just give it a little spritz and work those lines right back out. All right. So kind of fun things are happening. You can see we've got like this dark line right here. Totally digging that. This is a lot darker here and darker here. We've got a lot more light there. So that is feeling very fun, right? My, hi Melanie. Um, I don't know when the new ones are coming out. I know it's very soon. Melanie, my favorite brush, no matter, no matter what, is the Klingon S50. And it's just ultimately my very, very favorite brush. And then I very much prefer um, the, the blending brush by DIY. That's gonna be 100% my best brush if I want a little bit more texture. 
um, that's going to be my next one. So those are the two brushes that I actually use a lot. My other brush got lost. We were outside. We were in the backyard. And um, all of a sudden, we got all windy and crazy. And so we had to move to the garage super fast. I had like four minutes to do it. Three minutes. And um, so I think I may have forgot that brush. Then I have a tiny, tiny bit of Hay Sailor. Hi, Trish. How are you? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it black. I like the way it looks, but I'm not trying to have any harsh lines. So we'll do more like this. And that. Let's get a little bit more Hay Sailor and let's go ahead and go up here. So it's kind of like the same thing that you would do with a putty knife, but um, a little softer, softer look, which is more pleasing to my eye. I do like some harsh lines sometimes, but I tend to be a very blendy girl. All right, so I think I'm feeling that. What do you guys think? You like it? Just popped in. Hi, hi, Kathy. Do you have the new Daya brushes? Yes, I do. You can get them, Beth. Um, in the store or at windmillvintagedesigns.com. I am stocked with the new brushes. So if you want to do that and put in an order, we ship super fast, like next day shipping pretty much all the time. So, all right. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. What do you guys think? Anybody? All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and move on. I think I want to do this right here real quick and swipe it back. All right, so we'll leave that for now. We can always go back and add more, um, change it up when we want to, but kind of digging it. So I'm gonna go right back into my beadboard. Now the color's gonna kind of change down here because I, I am using the same brush for everything and I obviously have other colors on my brush. So everything's gonna change a little bit, but only in the way we want it. We can make it match if we want, or we can keep keep going and see where that leads us, totally. So let's go ahead and keep on going. So these clay-based paints are just, they're really thick, and um, as you can see, you pretty much get one coat coverage and everybody knows that this stuff is not porous. This is um, pretty, pretty shiny stuff. So for me to get that with a white is pretty phenomenal actually. 